We get knocked down, but we get up again. You're never gonna keep us down. It's really playing games, the fall of playing stone. I'm Graham, and I play Thugger and Bachbiter, the Dwarven Druid. And I'm Sarah. I play Lyra Lazarine, the Half Elf Ranger. And I am Brian. I play Lina Bellas, the Halfling Barbarian. I am Ross. I play Aviana, the Human Wizard. I am also Ross, rounding out this party, and I play Art of the Human Champion. And I am Patrick. Uh, I am the Game Master. I am playing the now exsanguinated corpse of Halid, uh, who, is, who is very dead. Um, <laughs> Last week, you continued your goal of finding whoever is responsible for the poisoning death of Bort, the dwarf merchant you have been traveling with on your way to Almas. You followed up on information from Finnick, who said he was forced to put poison into Bort's dessert by the local bully named Halid. In the dead of night, you explored a system of caves underneath Halid's collapsed shack, discovering an underground hideout and evidence that Halid was the person buying suspicious reagents from Bort. You encountered an electric snake, which was definitely a construct. And after defeating that, you eventually found Hallett himself. Hallett expressed no surprise at your presence, shouting, let's do this. After a hard fight in which Hallett downed three of the six of you, Arter eventually thrusts his long sword through Hallett's back, slaying him. There was no other choice. Now the group of you have returned to Etrin's Folly for some badly needed rest. As you climb the stairs to your rooms, you can hear Edra snoring softly in her room. And before we get started here, I have two hero points to hand out, uh, and those will go to uh, Lena and to Aviana for putting themselves in danger bravely, uh, despite watching I mean, Lyra go down in one bra bra Bravely or foolishly, whichever it may be. <laughs> It could could be either. A hero hero points a hero not, point. They they do not depend upon the success. They depend yeah. on the bravery. I make a statement that episode about doing my best to not get a hero point. <laughs> that episode get a hero point. <laughs> hey, burning hands went off. You did damage. Yep. I did a, a thing. Yep, you have uh, made your way back to the feed mill. Um, it is at this point probably two thirty in the morning. You are you are battered. You are bruised. You are very tired. Is everyone going straight to sleep? I will uh, be. We, but we should probably have brought Hallett's body back. <laughs> okay. And I'm gonna take it down to the cellar where they were keeping board. Okay, you can do that. Um, the <laughs> feed mill is closed, but. They don't bother locking the door. Um, so you can haul his corpse down to the bottom, into the cellar, drop him next to Bort. <laughs> yep, we did it. We're uh, not uh, done yet, though. Aye, the conspiracy runs deeper. He was just the first pawn in the series of people trying to poison the city and bring down Plague Stone. <laughs> I think that if we're being accurate, I think Finnick would be the first pawn. But uh, we didn't kill him, so eh, maybe he doesn't count. I don't know. Yes, I he's think you're right. He's the Well, if he's a pawn, then this is probably a rook or a knight. I don't know. I don't play chess very well, so... <laughs> We're looking for a bishop. Possibly. Didn't, didn't the clergyman die a while back? <laughs> mm. but, um, listen, what we don't know. The guy who was tangled very up, happy that we cleaned up the uh, the shrine. Not Thugrim, but somebody else. The ranger? No. I don't remember. I have too many people in this town. I can't keep track of them. I think it was. The, the GM thinks perhaps perhaps you're talking about Targon Fulst. Yeah, it was Targon. The mayor. Also Delma's father. Also the owner of the All the way to the top. Ah, uh, the guy we pushed over. He goes all the way to the top. <laughs> like the whole... 
genial old man who's at the cover. He's really a diabolical genius. I think it's bedtime. I concur. <laughs> yeah, I think I need to rest up a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> rest my wounds. Yeah. So you head to your various rooms. Uh, hey. New grin. Oaken, Oak and Claw, Claw climbs up into your bed with you. There we go, buddy. You had a good rough day, didn't you? It's gonna be all right. And sleeps on top of me. D how do you do you uh, heal in Pathfinder 2E when you sleep? It is level times your constitution modifier, I think. Yes. Or level plus your constitution modifier. Level times constitution modifier, pretty sure. So, two. Uh, so, uh, did we go to max for reaching level two, or just at our level one hit points and heal that many, like, four hit Level points? one hit points plus whatever you, you did up. Heal for this long rest. The difference. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it is level times constitution mod. Minimum one. <laughs> You have me yep. at 10, is that right? Which, which will matter next level. <laughs> you lose hit points. You were at 10. <laughs> so, you... I don't know how you made it this far, but you lose, <laughs> so you you lose get one two more hit points. points. You don't go all the way back to full in Pathfinder. Okay. So then I have 12. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, as you increase levels, you lose more hit points progressively. <laughs> So you uh, you all sleep through the night. It is about seven in the morning ish, which means you're uh, we'll say actually we'll say nine in the morning. So you've gotten you've gotten a good night's sleep when Arter he hears a banging on his door. Not really a banging, a knocking. Uh, yes. Uh, you hear a voice that says. Breakfast is here. Thank the gods. Do you... Do you... <laughs> huh? Can 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 I, can I come in? Um. Yeah, sure. I'm very good. Uh, the door opens, <laughs> and you see the grinning face of Finnick. <laughs> he is carrying a bowl. Um, it is. A nice shape uh, bowl. A pretty, you know, pretty decent sized bowl, and you can smell immediately um, that there is bacon in whatever this is he is holding. He says, "Good morning. I brought breakfast," and he he brings it up to you. You're, are you still in bed? Yes. Uh, so he he brings it up to you. Is that bacon? Ba there there's some bacon, and there's some porridge, mm. and I brought a drink, and he's just like reaches behind him he, he's wearing some kind of a belt that has um just like like cup holders i guess uh but he, he reaches behind him and and pulls out a mug of weak ale this is this is fantastic he says i i came to you first because i think i need to talk to you sure do you he, want a seat is there a seat uh, he says, uh, sure, and he turns and he, and he closes the door. Um, and there's like a stool. He just jumps up on the stool and says, um, so last night, you know, Sir Lauren Krent, do you know him? Yes. You know him, right? He was, I think he was talking about you. He kept, he kept asking for his friend. His friend, he, he he kept saying Talmor, and and I don't I don't know anybody named Talmor, but right. when I asked him to describe Mr. Talmor, he described his his very good friend who doesn't look very much like you, but he said he was a knight, and I think and you're a knight, right? So I think yeah. he meant you. Well, he might have. I don't know. He he's mistaken me for him. It's very, it's very strange. You don't look very much. Is he, is he not okay? Maybe you should 
Well, anyway, I just wanted to tell you, it sounds like your friend's not alright. Hi, I'm aware, thank you. And he just hops up and says, anything else I can get you? No! No, I'm good, thank you. Have a, enjoy your breakfast, and he wanders out. Close, Close the door. door. Him. Thank you. <laughs> Arter sleeps in the buff. A little bit of character trivia for everybody. Aw, <laughs> <laughs> nice. oh, yeah. I'm gonna enjoy this breakfast. I'm going to smell it first. Yeah, this is Then I'm going floral. to enjoy this. Oh, it smells <laughs> like bacon. It smells very good. It All is right. It is maybe the best breakfast you've had in a long time, because boy do you need it. And it's not just porridge. The last couple of days it's just been porridge or soup, and this time there's bacon. I wonder where that came from. Bacon, bacon, bacon. That boar we killed. Thank you. Oh yeah! I bet that is. <laughs> and then and then a couple minutes, a few minutes later, uh, there is a knock on Thugrin's door. Is this the bear or is this Zugrin? Uh, <laughs> I... Questions for the world. Mr. Thugrin. <laughs> Mr. Thugrin and Mr. Bear. Hi. <laughs> Oak and Claw pops up like beside me, like on top of my head in the door. <laughs> What do you he want? He says, Hi, I brought breakfast. What did you bring us? I have porridge. He hands you a bowl of porridge. And I have, he, he opens his cloak, and he just brings out this hunk of roast meat. And I brought meat for the bear. He just yeah. holds it up above his head. <laughs> open glass snatches it and goes back inside. Uh, Would about... you like anything to drink? Mm. No, I've got river water and my water skin. I think I'll be fine. He starts eating the porridge with his hand. You know, Goblin, I'm sorry we gave you such a fright when we tracked you down, but murdering a dwarf in a manner such as that is a heinous crime. He says, I, I understand. I'm just, I'm so happy you believe me. I didn't, I didn't know. I thought he was just going to be sick and maybe throw up. Well, that was not nice. He's been brought to justice, but there's still danger out there, little goblin friend. You be careful. This town is full of darkness. He squints and says, I know. I don't have to tell cautious. Me, Mr. Dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, you enjoy your breakfast. <laughs> And then uh, the rest of you also get also get breakfast deliveries. It's Finnick. It's all Finnick. It's all Finnick. It's, it's always all Finnick. Way down. He's the one delivering food this morning. Light, if, if Finnick brings her a light ale, she's going to ask for a... Whatever. I can't, wagon strong, grease? Yeah. Want wagon grease this early? Yeah, <laughs> because she just literally got her ass kicked and she's really salty about it. She's not used to... She's just... No. Not used to losing. <laughs> he says, "He says, Farmer Ela might have, might have. Well, I still think he could probably drink you under a table, but and well, there's also Sir, the Knight. He could also probably drink you under a table, but a good third. I'll go get you a wagon grease, and he goes get you a wagon yeah. grease to go with has your a drinking problem. And to I go just, with your bacon. I I I drink it. Drink my salty sorrows away from not seeing that tripwire. <laughs> you feel like you really should have seen it. It was pretty obvious. Yep, and I'm done. Charge, charge right into it. <sighs> Anything anybody wants to do in the morning before you all get up and convene? <laughs> Check out the um, dead body, the second dead body is downstairs. <laughs> I would, of course, like to do a ritual, if I yeah. must. Uh, you do, you do have um, to do that. Um, prepare spells. So, 
you go into your bag and what kinds of um kinds of, of ritual components are you using for this ritual uh i don't know what kind of components does one usually use for such a ritual anything you, te you tell me yeah um the eye of newt it could be toe of frog Uh, maybe some, uh... The right foot of a rabbit died of old age. Aww. Maybe They're some... They're the luckiest ones. Some cicada wings, um, that I got from the forest on the way back in the middle of the night at 1 a.m. <laughs> uh, picked up some husks or whatever off of the tree. Um, maybe some, uh some ivy or something like that of some some variety so you uh, accumulate these items you have probably some incense and some uh, candles you lay them out in a in an order that's actually a quite, pentagram. <laughs> quite quite particular order um, you have to light <laughs> things in a particular order. There are a bunch of words you have to say. Um, it has to go just so. Um, and the last thing that you have to do is you have to make a drawing of what you want to appear. So I want you to make me a nature check. Oh, no. Roll me a nature check. Why are you asking me to say I'm not trained then? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> what is this? I've never been you should so only ask me to make insulting. rolls I'm experts on. Jeez. 17. 17. Um, so you begin drawing, um, and you are pretty sure what you what you have in mind when you when you begin this drawing. And you know that things can go maybe a little weird if you're not particular if you're not like good with this. Um, you think you do pretty well. Um, you then light that piece of paper on fire um, and it burns from, from the bottom left corner up and it has to go all the way to your fingers um, and you have to let it let all of it burn while you're holding it. So you get a little bit of a burn on, on your finger here. It's, it's going to hurt for a couple of days. But at the end of that, um, you channel... You can feel your magic sort of channeling through you, and it sort of um, a bit of of light comes out of the last little little winking bit of fire from your finger, and it just sort of expands, um, makes this little ball in in on the floor mm -hmm. in front of you, and then out of that ball of sort of flame flame like light steps a creature that looks something like this. Huh? Ah! <laughs> and wow. then, Is that a lemur? I actually need to look at this because you did not actually tell me what you wound up choosing. What? Oh. Uh, uh, speech and con. Okay. So, Does uh, the creature, the creature, <laughs> creature looks around and and just sort of takes in. It, it You can see its hands... <laughs> sort of working it looks around and then it looks at you and says oh well this is interesting hello uh, well uh yeah uh who might you be <laughs> uh it thinks for a second and says i think I think my name's Dobbin. Yes, my name's Dobbin. And it, I think, ah, and it just kind of climbs up you and and, and sits down on your shoulder. I think this is a good spot. Well, uh, not quite what I was expecting, uh, but I suppose it will have to do. <laughs> That's so rude. 
Um, Dalvin just just do- doesn't seem to to notice um, the offense that that should, that should probably <laughs> take from that, and says, "What shall we do first? This is all very exciting already." Uh, well. I did, um, I guess already breakfast happened, right? Breakfast was previous yeah, to this. Yeah, you have already eaten. Well, we have, uh, some mysteries to solve, so I suppose you can come along on that for now, but you know, hopefully grander things beyond that eventually. Can only hope. Um, what time of morning is it? At this point, it's probably 10 a.m. I'm going to uh, go downstairs and I suppose wait uh, for people to assemble so that we can get a move on with our actions for the day, I suppose. Right, so I imagine at some point everyone heads down uh, and you meet either in the feed mill or that's probably like common room of the feed mill is probably the way the place that makes sense for you all to meet. Yeah, yeah. Okay. as part of my daily preparations, uh, Arter is gonna do his uh, equipment maintenance, and because of my new skill feat that I got this level, I can try to repair my shield in only a minute instead of ten minutes. Excellent. Right. So that I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna try that right now. All right. A natural 20 will certainly do it. It, all, it was only missing 3 HP at this point, so I think that just uh, that goes to full. Uh, as people come down, I will attempt to treat the wounded after a long <laughs> night's rest and be like, all right, lay your broken bones on the table. Let me Lyra's see that. Lyra's very broken. She's all just right, like... Come here. She, you, normally she's very like, you know... I'm gonna tell Tough, you. Tough, and now wounds. she's just kind of like, whatever. <laughs> Watch this, I'm so good at it. Watch me go. Ten. <laughs> this is all so bad. <laughs> Maybe don't roll into your next time. You're too far gone. I can't help you. <laughs> mm-hmm. it's, it's critical. It got internal. That tripwire really did a number on you. Yep. I'm sorry. I'll you know, if, if, if it's really bad, I could go ahead and cast some magic on you heal your wounds now what do you do you want that inherit or protect you Play what? On sure oh you don't have to show me up right after I try to be nice <laughs> oh look two hit points wait no is it six eh it's six hit points it's six <laughs> hit points <laughs> alright who else is her Lena come here um, uh, <laughs> get on the table, we won. I'm gonna treat your wounds. Hey, we talked about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Get on the table, average size barbarian. I need to treat your wounds. So there we go. I, I can fix this one. So, so what happens? What, what does it actually you do? Get, it's never worked before. Get, point. Was it was a two d eight. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So here, here we go. I got you. I'm so good at rolling. Watch, you. Uh-huh. Watch me go. You're very good. Two, D, eight, four, four hit points. You're welcome. I feel so much better. Good, good. Aviana, how are you doing? I am have been better. What in the fuck is that on your shoulder? <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna refocus and. <laughs> Very quietly, while Thugrin is dealing with Aviana, I'm going to lay on hands on Lena. <laughs> Thugrin is now just shocked at the you, small creature. Thugrin, Olivia. would you like to make a nature check? I, yeah, I don't know if Thugrin knows what Aren't the fuck that the, is. The nature? 23. <laughs> Are you the nature person? Uh, so, you have heard of this creature. Um, she somehow... So... <laughs> this creature is not native to this... Sure. <laughs> it's an exotic. It is, um, it, it is called an eye eye. Um, but you have definitely seen a drawing from somewhere in the Mwangi expanse. 
Hey. You're not sure where. The carvings um, on the trees, the Barkbiter clan. We respect all animals, and one time, my crazy uncle came back from Mwangi saying there were these little bug-eyed buggers, and carved into a tree a picture that looked just like that. It's an aye It'll probably not kill us, but I'd still watch out for it. Where'd you find something like that in a place like this? Well, I wouldn't say that I found it more the otherwise around. Uh, the eye I found you. <laughs> I didn't think they were that smart. Well, I, I mean, I don't know if smartness has anything to do with it, but uh, it's here. All right. I say it's probably just as smart as that bear over there. Hey, no. <laughs> Look at Claus, a fucking genius. Aren't you Oak and Claw? And he's like eating some trash or something. <laughs> That's my boy. Uh, Alright, Avian, I'm gonna try to treat your wounds now. No, just keep an eye on that eye eye. Uh, do, do you like. When you treat wounds, do you like. touch me or something like that? Like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like find the bruises and whatnot and rub like these poultices and pastes and things and kind of bandage it with leaves and and bark and twigs uh so you know it's, when it's... you do that it's gonna like like reach out a hand and like kind of like grasp at your hand when you reach forward to try uh, to like uh, uh. <laughs> uh, it's all right it's all right i'm, I'm, I'm a druid i can do this <laughs> 18 huzzah and so, How come you only roll really bad when you're trying to heal? Nine hit nine points back points. to Aviana. <laughs> Sorry, Lyra. Like I said, you're just too injured on the outside and the inside. I'm not the one that just eats plants. All right, make fun of me for being a vegetarian if that's where you have to go right now. It's pretty low, but I mean, whatever makes you feel better. <laughs> All right, I'm done healing for the day. <laughs> Sit down. Finnick walks up and says, um, Ruckus wanted me to tell you all that he's very tired and he might need to sleep all day. <laughs> Precisely for all day. Maybe more than all day. Maybe <laughs> exactly more than, maybe, maybe exactly a day, maybe a little less than a day, maybe a little more. He's not sure. <laughs> But he said he will definitely catch up with you wherever you are as soon as he wakes up. <laughs> it's a goblin thing. Sometimes we need to sleep a lot. <laughs> he goes back behind the bar. Right. We need to discuss with Krent. No, not Krent. Rolf. We need to discuss with Rolf the... Uh the events of last night. Is he the uh, constable Del or whatever it is? Delma has sort of been coming and going and she says, so what happened? Well, <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Did you see the dead guy in the basement? <laughs> she says, I <laughs> haven't been to the cellar. <laughs> I, I, I don't might start even Amora stink. has. We've been trying to avoid the place on account of the the corpse. Well, well there's two. Or, we tracked we tracked down the poisoner, the assassin, I guess. The murderer. We point down the we point we we tracked down Ford's killer. This asshole. So it's Hallad. Hallad. Yeah. Really? Yes, and we learned that he wasn't working alone. He had a patron. Of some hey, sort. Well, you, I know you suspected there was someone in town. On account of the, the money changing hands. Who is it? Do you know? We don't know. We only saw a letter that was signed with a V. A V? Huh. Might I look at it? I will show her the note. Do you recognize the handwriting? She looks at it and she says, 
His handwriting's quite distinctive, but I can't say I recognize it. V. There aren't that many people here with the name of V. Huh. But I don't... Huh. What's this about a... about a... the... the usual location? About the reward? Or... I don't remember what the, uh... Was that I'm the trying stuff? to find it. There is definitely a handout that has it. Yes, and I'm there trying is. To find it is part, part one. Uh, and then part holds one. a crude map, uh, depicts a cave, live, hide it out, a winding path. No, wait, sorry, that's the thing. That was it? No. Yeah, how I it, should how I should there. drag it into information. Or yeah, I've enclosed yeah. a parting gift from the should drop off. Oh, yeah, it's an art handout, that's right. right. Here we go. Here we go. Uh... Corpse blood. Huh. Okay, so she doesn't actually mention the. Yeah. So what's the what's this about cor corpse blood and dropping off? Huh. He must he must have had a place he met this person. This V. And a stump. Strange. My darling. Hmm. Yeah, we have uh, a. A. Uh crudely drawn map that Hallett made. It, it seems to show some kind of drop point. Uh, if you show her the map, she says, I don't... This could be anywhere for all I know. Yeah, we have a... We have a kind of an idea of where to start. She nods. But first oh. we need to get... Uh... Rolls. What's the word? Blood. Permission. We need his permission to leave the city, town, village. Yes. Well, I suppose I'll go fetch him. Thank you. We're still nursing our wounds from last night, so that would be a huge, huge help. She says, "Take your time." And 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 uh, my cousin is a little slow in the morning, so it it may be some time. One one more thing. Have you seen Lauren Krent since? We were last year yesterday. She says, well, I'm to understand he was here last night and, well, drunk is usual for him, but maybe he, maybe he ate some mushrooms or something. He seemed to be Finnick and, uh, uh, Finnick and Conroll and Trin all, all mentioned that he was in a very strange mood, asking after someone who I've never heard of and certainly doesn't live here. He... Well, he, he drinks a lot, although he doesn't have the stomach for it like Father Elam, but like I said, I've never seen him like that. But he was here last night. Can't say I know where he is now, though. Thank you. He has plenty of reason to drink. She just sort of <laughs> nods. She's not quite sure what you mean by that, but uh, she's going to head outside and go find the sheriff. And I hope that he gives us his blessing, uh, and that we once again have the ability to move around as we like. I... I don't like some small town sheriff accusing me of murder and then telling me I'm not allowed to leave their town off the road. <laughs> Don't take it personally. Lyra's like, I take everything personally. <laughs> uh, you got a bundle of joy. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my father said. Right before I killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Problem. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get moving. <laughs> Don't know link along. <laughs> there we go. Out to open claw. And a few minutes later, Delma and Rolf will walk back through the door. Good Rolf, morning. Rolf walks up. Delma's gonna. Come back to her traditional overseer's location up here. Um, 
Rolt says, and he, he's going to walk up to Arter. Um, he says, good morning. I understand you have news for me. Yes. We tracked down the assassin. And turns out that it was Hallid. Hallid. That's surprising. The man's always been law-abiding, far as I've known. But what evidence do you have? We have... Hold on. I'm, I'm pulling up all of my handouts. <laughs> we have these receipts that match the dates and the amounts from board's ledgers that match the, those mysterious reagent shipments. If I could get uh, Lyra's notes on the subject. Yeah. I give them. He... he... He looks at them, he looks at the other, at the receipts, he says, well, these numbers look like they match, although this, uh, all of this, this we accounting have, is, a, is a bit over my head. And we have this letter that was found on this person. Addressed specifically to him. You hand him the letter, he looks at it. Coarse blood. Greedy bastard parting gift. Ensure he never tells anyone of our D. Well, this looks hmm. Pretty incriminating, do you, right? Do you know who this V is? No. Hmm. Well, thank you for bringing this. I suppose this does conclusively prove that it was no one in your caravan. He sort of digs out and pulls out some notes. Nope, no one with a V here. Guess it couldn't be any of them. I suppose you're free to leave. I can present all of this to the to to Judge Cranberry and Lord Cranberry <laughs> and uh, Love it, Cranberry, unless you've forgotten. <laughs> They're not real people. <laughs> Lord Cranberry. <laughs> I'm not. Um, and I suppose this case is is mostly closed then and. Well, if oh. you en encounter this V person, I suppose bring them here if you can bring them alive. But as far as, as I'm as concerned, I'm... you can leave. Thank you for your help. Thank you. We will. Well, I will stay and I will continue investigating who this V person is. I don't think that your town is safe while they're out and about. He says, Oh, well, I'm sure they're not from here. He's just going to turn around and <laughs> leave. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure they're not important. Proving. Well, what? Ease how easy that was. I mean, for all he knows, we could have just written that letter, and who knows if V has anything to do with anybody's <laughs> real name. He, he's not the brightest. He just compared a list of possible travelers and decided that none of us were guilty because none of us had a V in our name. We should probably... Isn't that right, Aviana? <laughs> <laughs> we probably <laughs> tell the carabineers <laughs> that we, uh, <laughs> we found who did it. Well, at least In we're not stuck here TV. anymore. We can leave the town, and I'm interested in going and meet... What was, what was that, um... Elf. Yeah, it... Noala. Yeah, Noala. Noala. I'm also interested to hear what she has to say on the subject as well. Yeah. Also some, something about the cursed land or whatever. Well, first... That intrigues me. First, there's something that I want to investigate a little bit closer to town. What is that? Oh, well, before we do that, I would like to <laughs> sell my heavy crossbow that I picked up yesterday. Okay. I, I don't think I can really use it. Um, Delmo will be happy to purchase it for as soon as I can pull up the entry. I believe things sell at 50%.
it is worth ooh four gold pieces that's pretty good so you can get selling items half price yeah so you can get she will give you two gold for this heavy crossbow all right i will make that trade and uh, then she says someone will certainly use this for hunting hopefully not hunting me <laughs> <laughs> but we can talk about that later um i would like to purchase a hooded lantern you can do that great i've always wanted for, one. for standard price um, and I also want to point out that you have um, the item that does not work in the book as written um, is, oh, a, is a ring, which someone would need to make um, a, uh, an identify magic check, which you can do with um, arcana, nature, occultism, or religion. Um, you also have, there were two different flasks that Hallid had, if you recall, he drank one. You found two other on his person. Uh, those would require a uh, best check as a crafting check um, hmm. for those two items. And then you also have his Kukri, which is a plus one Kukri. Uh, and with a crafting check, someone could transfer that, that rune, uh, the fundamental rune on that onto a different weapon to make it a magical plus one weapon doesn't increase the damage but does give you a plus one to hit and it, it would make it a magical weapon hmm? name it to fix it arcana for the ring uh it is a, it is it is a secret check so i'll roll it for you oh okay um Uh, you are unsure what this does. It seems it, it is clearly magical. You can use detect magic. Uh, I assume I did not roll a nineteen on that check. You did not roll you a nineteen said, on that check. You said no. you could do a nature check for the ring. Yep. I'll do a nature check. I'll do a religion. Alrighty. So let's see, Lyra. Okay, uh, Lyra and Arter, you are both able to recognize this as a ring of stealth, which I made up. It is very, very um, cleverly named. Uh, it gives you a plus one item bonus to stealth checks. And um, if you were to come across a rune that you could put on your armor, a fundamental rune to put on your armor, you could then, there are inscriptions on it, you could then essentially move the uh, as if it's a rune stone you could move the runic engravings onto a piece of armor hmm. yeah let me see one of your fancy swords i can put this rune on it it would, get, it would make me stealthier <laughs> how long does transferring a rune take i think it takes one hour it's not so bad think that would be a good idea. All right. Hand it over. So, uh, what are you going to what are you going to put it on? Uh, one of my uh what sawtooth sabers. Is this All like right. a thing if he critically fails that like blow up my weapon? <laughs> I don't uh, so a a, so you do have to pay. There, there is a cost. Mm -hmm. It is ten percent of the rune's price. Mm -hmm. If you critically fail it, you lose that ten percent. If you fail, you can do it again. Uh, if you succeed or critically succeed, obviously you, you do it. Okay. So, um, how, so how much the, is? How much I still have to see if cost? I have enough right now. Otherwise. Yeah. I need otherwise, to you can just wear it as a ring, I guess. Hmm. So you can't transfer. So you don't have you. You can't transfer that it's a shadow rune as it's written in the book. It's a shadow rune, but there are no um, fundamental armor runes available. So, but it's it's yeah. So you would you can transfer the rune on his weapon, but you can't transfer the armor rune because you can't transfer a property rune onto non magical armor. 
it's the um is it potency yeah armor potency runes make armor magical and you do not have one of those and delma does not have any to sell you what about the weapon one? Oh yeah you can just transfer that that is a potency rune how much does that one run you uh the cost let's see it's in the item entry equipment i thought it was in the item entry i need to save this weapon potency level two so the price is that's armor upgrade 55 it is 65 gold <laughs> so it, it will require six, go, six gold five silver it's a striking bird yeah oh we are definitely not that rich right now <laughs> i want it It takes six gold, so if it's 10%, then yep. it's, uh... Six gold, five silver. Yeah, I'll take that. Alright. Hand it over, let me craft your sword. It is a... a level four... I thought it was a potency room, not a striking room. Is it a strike? Hold on. I might be looking at the wrong one. No, it's definitely potency. They're oh, the same level. Uh, so no, the yeah, potency is not as bad. Yep. Yeah. Potency is uh, 35 what? gold pieces. Yeah. I'll still take it. <laughs> Unless anyone objects. So it is. It is. Um. It is three gold, five silver. All right. Buy the materials, champion. I'll forge your sword. Can you put a potency room on like a rock? <laughs> it has to be. A, it has to be a weapon. I mean, like if you carry your rock around to bludgeon as a weapon. Yeah, that may be an improvised. Weapon. Weapon. Yeah, I mean maybe it would be an improvised weapon. The specialized yeah. like improvised weapons or something. Um, transferring. So Thugrin, make a crafting check. All right, watch me go. Look at this. Fifteen. A fifteen. I do not think is a success because it's a level. Ah. Level <laughs> two. Shot so, so it's not a critical failure. So you don't lose the uh. gold. Um, but you do discover for for some for some reason you don't think you're going to be able to do this onto Arter's sword or something about his sword um like it's not this this um there's some like character to the way that this sword was created um like it's not magical itself but it can only accept runes from it seems like a certain source is this uh Thugren's dubious knowledge covering up his shortfalls, or is this <laughs> actual knowledge? No, this is <laughs> we have no I mean, way of Thugren, knowing. Thugren seems pretty seems pretty confident of this. Well, he's confident uh, in a lot of things. Uh, well, while Thugren is working on the sword, I'm going to go talk to the caravan. Okay. Talk so, to Tamley, probably. Yeah. So Tamley will meet you. Um, here's Tamley. She says, good morning. Good morning. Um, we tracked them down last night. The one who did it. The one who did it, yeah. And, uh, nods. And he's gone, unfortunately. It came down to him or us, and I couldn't take him in alive. She... One second, let me look at what her alignment is. Definitely has an alignment here. I think. Um, she says, 
that's that's truly a shame. He should have been. It's a shame that he could not have been brought to face justice. But he was, I assume, threatening you, and you had little choice. He had a very big crossbow. She nods. You do what you have to. I would have liked to see this man tried to see his face when he was sentenced, but ah, well good to know he was he was stopped at least mm -hmm. there is one more matter they were basically a hired hand so while Howard saw it done he was directed by someone else. And we don't know who that is, but we're going to find them. You can see her face sort of fall a little bit. She says, for a second there, I thought this might be over. You, you said you'll find him, though. Whoever this other person is. Yeah, I, I give you my word. She nods and she says, Fort was a good friend. He wasn't just a just an employer I'm happy that we have you and not some group of people who couldn't care less thank you for what you're doing I do not uh, and she says I, I, I will tell the rest and one more thing we told this to uh, Rolf the town sheriff and he's convinced that neither us nor anyone in the caravan has anything to do with it. So says, well, that, well, that's true enough. So as far as he's concerned, I think that you're free to leave town if you so choose. I don't think we're going to leave just yet. I, I don't think it's right to bury Bort until we truly know who who is responsible for his death and and i can't leave him here i think we'll stay good i'm glad and it would be an awfully it's... it would be an awfully lonely lonely journey to get to my destination alone she nods you can still come with us we do have to complete this journey at least and then well i suppose i'll notify his family after that All right, uh, Arter will respectfully take his leave. All righty. Um, Thugrin, it has been an hour at this point. If you want to make more uh, medicine uh... checks. Um, and I'm... yeah, so you, you, you are pretty sure that you are not going to be able to transfer this potency rune onto... Arter's longsword. Uh, I can't make heads or tails of this. Come here. Later. Let me do something I'm good at. Try to fix those wounds. Fine. Come here. Uh, medicine. I did it. 16 is a success. I'm I think this so is the first time you've killed me successfully. <laughs> Seven hit points to ya. Be grateful for it. I'm feeling amazing. More, less crappy. <laughs> more. Uh, <laughs> my uh, familiar is gonna be like over here on the. Yeah, the walls are wood, right? Yep. He's gonna be like digging in the wall or something, like listening and then digging in the wall a little bit more. <laughs> it's very interested. And exploring everything, it seems like. Oh, uh, he's trying to find food. Do they eat? Do familiars eat? They're magical. Maybe they don't eat. Maybe I think they probably they don't have to eat. You can feed them if you like. Maybe he's doing um, it just because. Oh, it takes 
one day to transfer a rune. That's impossible. <laughs> no wonder it was so hard. Can't be done. So this will this will take you the rest of the day. Uh, we don't have that kind of time. <laughs> We're not going to be able to do it. Sorry. Need someone stronger than I am or if you want to waste a whole day. I guess that's fine. I can keep trying. <laughs> That's okay, we have things to do. Yeah. All right, let's well, go. you got a plus one kukri. All right. Okay. Can anybody right. use that? Uh, anybody who has training in martial right. weapons can use it. Yep. Oh, it's martial? Huh. It's not like uncommon or... Un it, 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 it's, un it's uncommon, but uncommon yeah. doesn't matter. You've got it. <laughs> yeah, it's not... Uncommon uh... is access, not no. ability to use, so... Yeah. Shall we find that elf again? I mean, I, it's a little small for a weapon, I think. Huh. Don't really get the appeal. And yeah. No Noala had told you um, that she, you know, if you're going to meet with her to go out on this expedition, you'll need to do it at, at early in the morning. You know, 6, 7 in the morning. So oh. it is probably going to be, because it's a it's a walk to get where you're going um like it, it, it's a trek mm. uh and so you are yeah she is you know where to meet her but she said you know you want to meet her in the morning so that you can get ready and and go and get there in a reasonable so maybe tomorrow time. morning then yeah in uh, the meantime um but thugrin um it it took you you know maybe maybe an hour to figure out you weren't going to be able to do that so that does not use your whole day if you wanted to spend your day transferring it you you could still do that all right save that for later in the meantime we should investigate some rumors that i heard was it a rumor i'm not sure someone said something that troubled me and i want to check it out and what was that? They said that they saw minions of Tarbathon, the Whispering Tyrant, in town. Ooh. And that's impossible. That's... <laughs> well, that sounds... That that's... just sounds uh, like ranting. Any, 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 anybody who wants to could make a society or a religion check to see if you know who Tarbafon is. Oh, it's, so it's not, not a very it's it's, okay. it's it's not a high DC, but I, I can roll it for anybody who wants to, to oh, see whether you, is, they is know it that. a secret? It's yeah, a it is a secret. Any, oh. any recall knowledge is gonna be a secret check. I'll do um, I'll do a religion check. Although Art Arter obviously knows it. <laughs> I probably won't, but I will try. So To... So who wants to do religion? Who wants to do society? I'll do religion. Okay, so yeah, everybody knows um, it, it is pretty common knowledge, although you could have potentially had your head like stuck in the sand or something for the last oh, couple of years. Um, you know that Tarbafon is known as the Whispering Tyrant. He is a well. He's a lich. Um, oh, no. Well, he so the Knights of hmm. Ozum, um, formerly the Knights of Ozum, uh, were char the the order which I think you probably all know. Uh, uh, Ardor is a member of now the Knights of Last Wall. Um, were charged with defending his prison. Um, in what was once the country of Last Wall, uh, keeping him from escaping. Problem is, he escaped, and he blasted the entire mm. land around where he was, um, and just jettisoned off to an island that he is now like in charge of. Mm. Um, so he's bad. 
He's very bad. He's very scary. Um, mm. Lots of undead scary stuff. If he has minions from, like, little old skeletons all the way up to, to giant undead monsters. Um, and I think most of you know that rumors were that, you know, that the, uh, the orcs were going to be in league with him. Um, but it turns out the orcs were not in league with him, and the, the orcs actually banded together with other living people to fight him, which is a, a bit of a political shift. But yeah, that's Tarbafon. He's bad. He's scary. Where's Last Wall? Oh, that's northwest of here. Well, I guess where was Last Wall? What in what is now known as the Gravelands? Yes. Oh. In the Eye of Dread region, if you're looking at the current I map of... Mm -hmm. okay, I, it must not be on this map. Yeah, if you're if you're looking at an old map, it's Last Wall. <laughs> if you're looking at a new map, it's not Last Wall anymore. It's not detailed enough. I don't know. I don't see Last Wall or whatever. That's fine, though. Yeah. Ooh, well... I have a feeling that it's just some ramblings of some small town person who doesn't really know what they're talking about. But we hope. I suppose we could go see what's going on. Yeah, so I hope that it's just the insane ramblings of a broken man. So, where to? Right, it's this way. <laughs> so you, um, you head to the location that Sir Lauren Krent has described. It is once again in the area of town known as the Dead Homes. Um, and it's relatively distinctive. He described it that there was a, um, there were rose bushes out in front of it um, that somehow did still manage to to occasionally have a rose, and you're able to find that uh, shack relatively easy. It, it doesn't look like it's in <clears throat> much better shape than uh, than any of the other uh, dead homes. Hmm. Oh, I hope it's not trapped. I guess we also have to uh, find that drop point too. That's also on our list of things to do. Yeah, I will check the windows. Okay. Uh, you look in the windows and it's dark inside. Um, you don't see anything immediately you know, obvious or dangerous. Um, there are no zombie hordes crawling out of the windows. Are there signs of, like, people come here? Um... Like, on the stairs up to the door, or, like, if it's a path up to the door or whatever? Yeah, so there, there is a walkway. I mean, you could walk up to the door. Um, the door is closed. I mean, like, is there, like, tracks, the path? Like, it doesn't look like it has recent wear. Uh, so somebody could make a survival check. And is just that a secret? Yeah, I'll, um, I'll make... I, I think it is going to be survival. I, I can also make that check. And what are your bonuses? Plus six. Mine's plus five. Four. Anybody with a three? <laughs> <laughs> For what? Nah. Survival. 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 Oh no, I have a one. Um, Food yeah. and we'll look. Uh, what's yours? Plus eight. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Show up. Yeah, yeah survive, man. Good survive. Yeah, so. I guess that is supposed to be the one thing he's good at. Yeah. Thugrin. I'm... Yeah, Thugrin and Lena are able to find that there are definitely tracks. Um, they are boots that have been going in and out. They look roughly the same, The and, and Lena in particular, you can see that the wear pattern in, in the, 
the areas where it was freshest um seem to do seem to be the same is it a lot of people or like one person uh implication is that it appears to have been one person probably two or three times do they look to be about pallet size i mean it's it's hard to say okay it's hard, it's hard to say. To say. I mean, it's but you a, can tell height from stride length. Sometimes it's a it's a, it's a medium medium sized humanoid. Oh, it probably was not Fennec. Okay, I would like to open the door this time, making sure that the door is between me and any crossbow bolts. Okay. <laughs> or spears. Uh, yeah, you, you you take a look, and the door swings open freely. A sagging straw roof barely protects this abandoned house from the elements. Piles of debris litter the common room, which shows signs of occupation, although not too recently. A backpack sits in one, one corner with a glint of silver inside its open flap, rest, resting next to a shattered chair and a moldy old blanket. Quite suddenly, the air seems to grow cold and the sound of moaning fills the house you uh... see something that looks like <laughs> this appear uh... and move towards you to attack what the f i am i am actually going to use well, the, <laughs> a, a room in the feed mill for this encounter is that a thing <gasps> magical? <laughs> oh no. So go ahead and art so whoops, let me move to Carter right. is here. Go ahead and arrange yourselves kind of the way you think you would be roughly. Just ignore the about how far away you want to be. So, so, so where's, where's the, the door? Outside? So it is it is this I am using a room oh. in the it is this right here. Right. Um but like what if he just came in the door, yeah. Where's he? So, so this is the door. This is this is the door to the south. Okay. He is looking south. The door is south. So I would be all of the rest of the feed mill is outside. I got you. Because I didn't want to import a map just for like literally one room. <laughs> so we're using Spoilers. this room. Um, <laughs> I mean that's that's all that's in this encounter. I know. I'm just... Uh, so, and then over here. Actually, you know, there's some stuff over here. We'll say in this corner, down to the southeast. That's where you see Arter, this um, backpack. Can you open this door for us? Oh, I need to. Forgot about that. This all right. What was That's the name of? What was the name of Lauren Krint's friend? Talbor. Talbor. Talmore, T A L M O R E. Talmore. Okay. Not Talmarin. 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 <laughs> She's back. Talmarin's um, in the past. Let me. Okay. Oh, that's handouts. Stats. I was somewhat dismayed to d discover that they did not bother putting this creature's stat block in here, so. Where did I put it? What did I call it? Oh, I, I considered it a named character. All right. We are missing somebody. Thugrin, Lena, Arter, Aviana, Lyra. Lyra. We need a, we need a Lyra initiative check, Roll please. Roll initiative. Oh. Did, did, did you roll it or in? I th uh no. no. I just think I blanked. I think I no. I was blanked. Oof, Twenty one. Alrighty. And Dugrin is uh, quick on his feet sometimes. Sometimes I. He should be. He's slow, but quick on his feet. <laughs> In it. Uh, Damn. All right. Thugrin's up first. He only has like 15 feet of moving. Slow. Uh, I'm not about to send my bear into that death trap. 
my speed's only 15 feet. Uh, so is this wall present, or would I be able to make it to here? Yeah, you can, you can, you can make it to there. That's fine. Um, not that that's going to help me much. We 30 on, feet away. On second thought, I probably should have. Uh, that's all right. Actually, I really should. We really should have used this western door here because there's a lot more maneuverability space. But yeah, if you need to get somewhere outside this 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 room, so sure, pretend like this that. wall isn't here, basically. Yeah, yeah. There's right. no there's no and wall this there. Wall isn't here. Okay. So actually, let's 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 move you over to this door. Oop. So you have a little more maneuverability. So go ahead and place yourselves as you would be. Yeah. That, that way you'll have more maneuverability outside of the door. I uh, put oak and claw in front of me. Okay. And he is therefore here. Oh, this is this door. Yep, yeah, that door. Ah, I see. Uh, uh, Arter is still in front. Yep, he's still in front of the door. <laughs> okay. Then if I do 5, 10, 15. Oh, well, let's see. Can I see him from there? Yeah. Uh, all right, then I will move over to there. Uh, and because I prepared it this time, I knew we were going to face some dangers that needed to be maybe a little slowed down. Thugrin uh, kind of waves his holly mistletoe around and then casts a ray of frost at the ghost. Okay, make your attack roll. Waja. 23. A 23 will hit, even screened through Ardor. Um, five four, cold damage. Five cold damage, okay. Pew. So you um, shoot your bit of... of Actually, no. Okay, never mind. Um, it impacts on this, whatever this is, uh, and seems to have no effect. We're gonna die, everyone! Run! <laughs> wow. It is now its turn. Oh no! It is going to. Five, move there, and then it is just going to uh, no. and wail. Oh no, we're all zero hit points. Everybody <laughs> to make a will save. Oh no. Even. And this includes this is everybody, everybody. So this is going to include the bear, and this is going to include ah! the eye. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Aye, aye, aye. Yeah. No. I think Lyra's gonna keep drinking when she gets back. Oh, no, Oak and Claw. Oh! Mm. At least he didn't get a natural one. Yeah, there's that. Dalvin's good. So we need, who are we missing? Me. Uh. Nice. <laughs> okay. So Dobbin succeeds and Linus succeeds. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone else uh, is frightened eyes. too. Frightened too. Lyra is frightened three. There's literally nothing I can do at this point then. <laughs> you have a hero point. Uh, yeah, so the, if the hero point does what? Does it make me re- You re-roll. Okay, I'm gonna use my hero you, point. I keep you, forgetting. You take the second that. result, but you know. Yeah, I mean, it can't be. You literally can't do worse than an at one. It can't be worse. I mean, it can be not great either. A ten. Okay, that's a normal failure. So you're only frightened two. Oh, yeah. so you're a normal failure. Frightened two gives you a you, status Ross, penalty, for a, a minus two status penalty to basically everything. All of your checks, all of your DCs, including your armor class. Um, at the end of your turn, your frightened status goes down by one. Ah, um, a ghost! <laughs> and then it is going to 
float forward. It did not have enough movement to get up to Ardor. Lyra, you are next. It doesn't work. <laughs> Frightened doesn't work. Uh, does it? Can you not move towards it? it or is that no, just like, okay. Nope. No, I, 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 I was None of that. Sure. I was just double checking. It's just a penalty now. Just right? minus two to everything. Okay. Yeah. Uh, is it like, am I able to hit it where it is? Or where I am? Uh, you'd be swinging through. Let me see. Like a, I'm just it's kidding. definitely gonna have. <sighs> no, I, I don't think you can. Okay. Um, can, if I move here, does that like can I move there? Because I'd have to you would move need to, through you would need to You would need to make an acrobatics check to tumble through the ghost's space. Because you got two hard corners. Ghost confirmed. Why not? Well. See, we'll do it. We'll try it. Okay, make an acrobatics check. And it's a mi it's a minus two. Twenty seven is a success there. Okay. Easily. That was that was one action, right? No. The check was. That is a tumble is a single action. You okay. could, if you would like to flank it, you could choose to flank it. And you could go behind it. Um. Yeah. And then that's my a second action. Uh, that's your first set. You can just oh, tumble oh, straight through it. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. So then I'm going to... Hunt. So then question, what? did you have your weapons out? Well, I have a feat. I gave her a feat. Oh, you do have a feat. Yeah, so I'm going to... Never mind. I'm going to hunt prey and then do my feat to take out my weapons and attack at the same time. So, yeah, you can attack. So you cannot use quick draw along with another... So you can't attack with both. You can quick draw and strike, but yeah. you can't do you cannot do twin takedown because that is a different. No, action. I was I was just gonna do I was gonna hunt prey and then I was yep. just gonna do quick takedown. Yep. Uh, so you you, you okay. can't do twin twin takedown, but you can just make one attack. Yeah. Well, but I can, you can't. I can hunt prey though, right? Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. 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 That's fine. Um. All right. I think that a I'll... nineteen will hit, um, but you swing your saber and it passes straight through this thing. So we're gonna die. Yep. I don't think I got it. Arter. Good luck, guys. <laughs> uh, first things first. I'm going to recall knowledge about this being. Uh. <laughs> Which skill would you like to use on that? Undead lore, motherfucker. Okay, that sounds appropriate. <laughs> uh, what is your... Nice. Nice skill selection. What is what is your undead lore bonus? Plus six. Whoops. Which is among the highest of my bonuses. Uh, you did not roll a 114. Okay. Or did he? Well... This is a ghost. <laughs> Thanks. Let me, uh, let me pull up the, the, the sheet here for Shocking. ghost. I'm Shocking. sure you had no idea that was coming, right? No, this is a complete surprise. What? When some mortals die through tragic circumstances or without closure, they can linger on in the world. These anguished souls haunt a locale significant to them in life, constantly trying to right their perceived wrong or wrongdoings. Um, let's see. A ghost has several properties, qualities that are important. Uh, first, if a ghost is destroyed, it can reform after a few days within the location that it's bound to fully healed. A ghost can be permanently destroyed only if someone determines the reason for its existence and sets right whatever prevents the spirit from resting. Um, you also know that ghosts let's see um, there was something here. A typical ghost can stray only a short distance from where it was killed or the place that it haunts. A typical limit is 120 feet. Some ghosts are instead bound to a room, a building, a building, an item, or a creature that was special to it, rather than to a location. Um, ghosts are actually intelligent undead, 
Um, so they are unlike zombies or skeletons or something along those lines. They retain some modicum of who they were in life, but they are often twisted by the experience into whether by grief or by anger um, or resentment into a form that is, that is almost a, a mental form that is almost, you know, indistinguishable. It is obviously an abomination um, to a knight of last wall to, to be turned into a ghost, but it's a thing that can happen to anybody. Um, finally, you know that ghosts, um, it is very difficult to harm them through physical means. So they will resist any effects um, essentially, they have damage resistance to any kind of of weapon attack. It is even that resistance is even stronger to non magical weapons, although positive damage, force, and the spell called Ghost Touch do full damage to them. Should have gotten that magic missile. Uh, and then, and then finally. Um, uh, actually, no, that's not really going to be going to be relevant there. Uh, also, they can shriek at you and make you afraid. That's that's what you know. Understood you rolled that. very well on that check, Arter. <laughs> Great. I'm glad to hear it. All right. With that knowledge in hand, I'm going to call out to this ghost. I'm going to say, tell him more. We don't mean you any harm. Despite what we just did. I don't mean you any harm. <laughs> Um, the ghost will will respond and say it's not right it's not right I was abandoned and then it was taken from me good to know alright I guess going to take my shield and I'm going to raise it alrighty uh, you have another action okay um, I guess, I mean, why not? Can you I'm going to use Lay on Hands to deal one Already. damage to it. Okay. It must... it, so it's a fortitude save to reduce it to zero, I guess. Um, but you said we meant it no harm. A 21, it will roll a 21. Um, which Perfect. will succeed at the save and un and unfortunately do zero damage because he rolled a one. That sucks. I feel like you should yell something at him when you try to lay on hands to damage him. <laughs> Lena. Be at rest. So Be at rest. Uh, <laughs> a a acrobatics check to try and move through its face. Okay. I'm going to do that. Let me throw some holy water on it. A uh, twenty-two will succeed. You can go wherever you like. Um, where, where did you say the backpack was? Uh, the backpack is in this corner down in to the southeast. Southeast corner. So you can. Um, so that was you. You can speed. you can move your full speed. Oh okay. I guess with the frightened too, I would have rolled. It would have been a plus four instead of a plus six. True. You said this corner. Yep, that corner. Okay. Uh, for my third action, I'm gonna look through the backpack. Uh yeah. So you can look through the backpack. You can find. Um, there is a silver object uh, in the backpack, and if you pull it out, you will see that it is this. Um, it, it, it's it's relatively small. It's it's handheld, or it fits in your hand. Um, it is a uh, a piece of silver that appears to be like a sword with a ray of light, kind of coming off the or with with various rays, like a, a sunburst, actually, uh, the day. coming coming behind the sword. Mm -hmm. Is um, it kind you, of like the symbol that's on his shield? You, um, it is exactly like the symbol that is on Arter's shield, in fact. On the ghost shield, 
on the ghost and shield. On the ghost shield too. Ghost. Oh, also on the ghost shield. It's everywhere. But you have, I guess, is it? Do you have the symbol of Iomide on your shield, Arter? Um, or do you do you carry a do you carry a holy symbol or anything like that? I do not. Oh, okay. Never mind, Lena. You you may or may not know what this is. You would have to. Well, no, it, it's on the ghost shield. Yeah, it is on the shield of the ghost. Yes. Huh. Oh, but you just don't know what it is. Okay, yeah. Yep. You I would see. need to take a and it take an action to recall knowledge. Aviana. Was that the only thing in the backpack? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, there, well, so it's the only notable thing. There's like some, there's like some rations. There's a bit of rope. Um, most of the other stuff in it is junk. Um. Oh. She's probably gonna. Maybe step back and maybe just do a produce flame on it you know the bread and butter alrighty make your attack roll I have a minus two right yeah so you have a minus two and it is screened yeah. so it's good it gets a plus one or cover 20 you'll hit though for seven fire damage okay uh you do seem to do a little bit of damage to this thing um the fire does seem to take take some effect on this ghost we did it we found its weakness it's fire <laughs> it didn't seem extra strong just regularly strong right <laughs> uh do you have a uh, third action you would like to take well i move back you move back okay round two Thugrin, you're up. You know, it's a little frightening. I figured I would. All right, I'll try step to back put a this second. ghost to rest. Uh, um, cool. I could do that, but um, yeah. Shoot. Why? Well, no, no, no. I'm gonna do that. Uh, I am going to cast heal at it okay uh, all right with two actions to make it a 30 foot range uh so i don't know if i've macroed it correctly uh i think it adds no it's just yeah you are not healing a living oh, creature but so wait 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 in so that it would only be 1d8 Okay, I would like to extend that to a three action if I can to do the burst. Okay. Um, so that's four hit points to everyone within thirty feet of me. So, Arder, Lyra, Aviana, and Oakenclaw, and myself, and it, the ghost. But the ghost well, the, the ghost gets four, but he gets a basic uh, fortitude save to half it. Or do whatever with the save. DC 18. No, DC 16 because I'm frightened too. Yep. Let's see. Where's its fort save? Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah, because. A 17. Uh, because I'm frightened of it. <laughs> you yep. only so take that, two that points of damage. Success. Uh, so you will do two, two positive damage to it. But I heal a bunch of people, right? Aviana, Lyra, Arthur. Yeah. Everybody, everybody oh. else heals, other than Lena, <laughs> because she's not in range. Everybody else will heal four hit points. Three as well. <laughs> the, okay. the, the one time I charge too far forward, I guess. Yeah, and that's three actions on my turn. So I'm done. All right, it is Ghost's turn. Ghost is going to. I, okay, I have to reopen this. Something's. That character sheet was not um, displaying correctly. Okay, so everybody is immune. Uh, so the ghost of Talmor is going to. Um, also, you can see that there's. It has this big scar. If you really look at the. At the picture, you can see it has this big scar uh, running along its face. Um, he is going to attack in in rage at 
ardor and say, bring it back, bring it back, it was mine. Mm. Uh, does a 19 hit you, Ardor? 19 will your, not hit me. Uh, with your AC minus 2, but also AC well, minus, minus one, 1, because your I... shield raised. Right. Um, I've had one turn since I got frightened, and I have my shield raised, so my AC is 20. And then it will attack a second time for a 20. That will hit. Uh, yeah. You will take Four negative damage. I think they're gonna block that. Alrighty. Um, yeah. So your your so or your shield is it a metal shield? Is it five? It is a metal shield. It has hardness five. Okay. Clang! It just it just hits your shield. And then third attack is a six. That is the ghost of Talmor's turn. Lyra. Um. So, I saw that my uh, saber t saber didn't do much. Um, if I just if I want to just like try and punch the ghost, because <laughs> um, <laughs> Lyra, Lyra doesn't Lyra doesn't know whatever. Do I need sure. to like drop my weapon? I guess, or can I like try and like? Uh, do it you with would. Attack? You could drop it for free. You could sheathe it for an action. Um, if you if you sheath it for an action, you then get to draw it for free. If you drop it, you would have to take an action to pick it up because quick draw doesn't work with. I'll do the quick draw. I'll do the. I'll sheath it. Sheath. Okay. And I'll sheath it, and then I'll. I'm gonna unarmed strike. Okay, go for it. Because <laughs> this is totally gonna work. We'll see. <laughs> A twenty-four will hit. Um, but unfortunately, it does not. You so it's interesting. Um, ghost is interesting. It's, it's not like you don't feel anything. You do. It's kind of like punching a bowl of pudding, which is probably not a thing you have done. It's not a thing I have done, but it's like punching a bowl of pudding. Um, it does not appear uh, uh, appear to affect the ghost, however. Um, and then Lyra's gonna. Is is disengage? Is that one or two actions? Uh, so there's no disengage. You can okay. take an action to step, which okay. would not provoke, uh, okay. which would yeah not not cause reactions. So okay. I I moved through it and ran away and it didn't attack me. You also saw that, yes. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna move back a little bit because I am very frustrated. Okay. Kind of like what the I'm a a little bit and I'm just like what nothing I do is working so it's gonna kind of go go pout behind this for a little bit <laughs> okay you take cover under um that's probably the straw mattress uh Arter it's your turn uh what do I do what do I do who has the kukri that is an excellent question I think Thugrin has the Kukri. Thugrin probably has the Kukri, yeah. Um, right. Arter is going to <laughs> raise his shield again, and he's going to ready an action to take the Kukri when Thugrin hands it to him this next turn. <laughs> kind of oh. hoping that that happens. <laughs> Arter is going to take the Kukri. It's kind of call calling a shot. All right. Uh, Lena. Uh, so... So I last turn I I took out the sword, right? Or you took out the, it's a holy symbol. But yes, you took out uh, the the item, the the sword. Oh, item. I, oh, I thought it was a sword. It is the shape of a sword, but it fits in your palm. Could I stab somebody with it? Uh, probably not. It's you can tell it's made of silver. Could you bludge it with it? That's, that's my whole plan. Um, well, I'm going to try it anyways, even though you said I can't do it. I mean, you can certainly try with it, yeah. It, it... <laughs> Better than nothing at this point. I, I am going to charge, so sudden charge, and then... And ghosts don't like silver, right? Attempt... Well, that's werewolves. Wait, do ghosts <laughs> not like silver? Because I, I have a silver, silver weapon. Silver things are good against more than just werewolves at the, at the usually, but probably not ghosts. 
So, uh, uh, is it a uh, unarm strike or? Can you just do a punch? Yeah, do it. I don't have a. I don't have an improvised button. Yeah, just just do an unarm strike. Wow. Oh, that was Lyra. Yeah, that was Lyra's. That was Lyra's punch. Yeah. Not as good. Uh, twelve. So you you swing with this thing and and you just you miss. You're used to using this giant. You like this giant sword. You way overcompensate and you almost fall down. I'm out of action at this point. Alrighty, Aviana. Um, good news, you're no longer scared of this thing. Me? I uh, saw no. one turn. Yeah. Lena. One turn. Probably, probably another fire. The fire seemed to work. Um, so... Let's go with a shield and then a produce. Well, actually, oh, it, it the yeah. I assume. Sorry, I'm just thinking out loud. I assume this Kukri is in Thugrin's pack and not on his person because why would he? Yeah, have, I mean, have Thugrin. Any, Thugrin have do you, yeah, w do you think you would have it? Do you even have a sheath, Thugrin? Do I have a sheath? Do you even own one? <laughs> do you even sheath? Um, and mm, and if you do, do nah. you think Thugrin put it in his pack, or do you think he's carrying it on his belt? Mm, this item that he was unable to move the... Right. He probably wouldn't put it in his pack, because that's where all like the poultices and all the kits and all shit... My book backpack is pretty full of repair kit and healer's tools and all that junk and I have my clan dagger and a sheath at a belt and uh -huh. you know I think a kukri is well enough in the other side of the belt you know there's the dagger okay. on one side and the kukri on the other Okay. so it's in my belt now there's probably like some leaves and twigs that are in that <laughs> there as well you know to get through but it's there <laughs> um I'm just gonna shield and uh, produce flame on it again. All right. Or minus one. A sixteen will miss. So you you aim your fire at it, um, and it actually lands in the in the mud, just uh, outside of the rose bushes. Thugrin. All right, uh, I see Arter like holding his hand out, and I think for a second like, no time for hand hold. It. Oh, right. <laughs> so I would like to draw the kukri, and then Action. flip it over to Arter. So if you're going to throw it, you're gonna need to make a roll for that. No, nope. you could also one I action move, draw it, one action step, move. one action hand. Yes, that one. Okay. It's <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, nope. <laughs> All right, here you go, buddy. So, Proper weapon etiquette, right? Yeah, Carter, I, you now have a kukri. I'm no awesome. longer frightened. That Hand takes my him, reaction. Uh, yep. Hand it to him, handle first instead of blade first. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, my hand, you cut it off. Uh. <laughs> it is now the ghost's turn. Great. Um, Let's see. Well, none of you, none of you have heard it. I think it's gonna. I think Arter maybe reminds it too much of um, the reason it is here, so it's gonna go for another three attacks at Arter. First attack is a twenty. That will miss. Second attack is I am a. No longer yeah, is a twelve, and the third attack yeah. is an eight. Okay, you are armored up in the face of this ghost. Ghost Just fighter. I do. Lyra. Uh, um, do I? S uh. You could do like a hot potato thing with the knife. Arter like stabs it. Then here, Lyra, take it. Throws it to Lyra. <laughs> Lyra stabs it. Throws it back to Arter. <laughs> <laughs> um. I. What is a what? What is this right here? A bedroll. It's a 
it's like mattress. a it's like a straw mattress. Okay. Can I pick it up? How heavy? Is it? <laughs> Why are so we just time with yeah, it, 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 <laughs> It's, it's <laughs> very much you. you I think you could even pick it up with one hand. Sure. Lyra is literally grasping at straws right now. <laughs> yeah. So she's going to throw up. Th throw, she's going to throw, pick up the bedroll and like throw it at, or, or I don't know. Can I, I don't want to hit Lena. Or I guess I could pick up the bedroll, move over it, here and try and hit the ghost. And just the whack it. Okay. <laughs> um, ma just make an attack roll with your saber. Just to see if it hits. Yeah, Lyra is just a hundred percent like kind of losing it right now because she's very frustrated that. Okay, so a twenty-two minus your proficiency, which is a four, four. eighteen will. An eighteen will still hit. Um, so <laughs> give me it's a D four. We'll call it bludgeoning damage, plus your strength modifier, whatever that is. Um, so a d4 would be 4 plus 3, so, yeah. Seven. So 7 damage. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> like you, you, so this, this pudding that is the ghost of Talmor, you hit it with the straw bed, and unfortunately straw beds are not magical weapons. And, and so just... it, it does not seem to do any damage. <laughs> And then I'm just, yeah. That's my turn. I All think right. that was three. Arter. I'm going to... Yeah, I'm just, I'm going to attack him. Okay. Ooh. A 28 is nice. a critical hit. Nice! Awesome. Good thing so we that is going to be... Weapon. Uh, 14 <laughs> slashing damage. Oh, 14 slashing damage. That does some real damage to this thing. You can see that uh, this ghost form is starting to, you know, kind of almost not real, not really. Do it again. Almost pieces are coming off of it. If that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Like mist. Get him. Uh, I'm going to attack number two. All right. Oh. A nineteen will hit, uh, and that will do more damage. Uh, you think one more hit like that? Um, Finish this ghost him. Will 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 disappear. Here we go. Can you do it? Ah! Oh, no. Five, unfortunately, will not hit. Uh, so oh, you geez. swing and you miss the ghost this time. Play Still now. pretty effective. So I I'm going to take out the silver rapier that I got last session. Okay. And we'll try to stab the ghost with it. Okay. Because I heard silver works on these things. I mean, <laughs> who knows? But who knows? Maybe. A 19 will hit. Uh, it's That's definitely what not hit. What the f <laughs> What kind of rapier D6. is that? Jesus! <laughs> 10 <laughs> d6. Roll a d6. Damn. 1 d6 plus 3 is what it My should be. God. This is the silver rapier he gave me, right? It does 10 d6 damage. <laughs> this is a, a level a level 18 rapier. Jesus. Uh, 5 damage. Um, You swing the rapier and it... Seems to have no effect. Oh, after sure all seemed that. like you hit it, but <laughs> twenty-eight damage seemed like it hit it. Oh, I, I did one instead of ten instead of one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we see you trying to cheat. I will try again. Okay. A sixteen misses, unfortunately. Huh. Okay. Aviana is up. Um, we're gonna. Try produce flame, I suppose. Uh, anything else is interesting? Yeah. No. A twelve oh. will not hit. I'll just do a shield and pass. Your fire misses again. Thugrin. All right. I saw someone shooting with a flame, so I'm gonna try to do the same. Uh, although, you, you no, know, I did in the game. Uh, wait a minute, this is pretty lame, <laughs> but I don't, I no longer have produced flame. I didn't prepare it today. <laughs> uh, oh, that's a shame. Uh, um, instead, uh, I will do... You didn't prepare ghost touch instead, did you? <laughs> nope, sure didn't. 
I'm gonna try to hit him with an acid splash. Okay, sure, go for it. But two twenty four. Twenty four will hit. Um, this thing is not immune to acid, is it? I don't think so. Nope. <laughs> um, so a little Six. bit more of the mist. So as this ghost starts dissipating, you can see that what looks, you know, sort of the visible parts of it do start turning into what look almost like mist. Um, okay, I have to, I have to be honest and point out it does say one splash damage. Yeah, I think so. Oh uh, no! You have three choices. Oh yeah, uh, that's true. No, it's all of you. You uh, all take one damage. Whoops. Arter, Lena, <laughs> and Lyra will each take one acid damage. Whoopsie doodles. Yeah. Uh, oh, nope. That's not the right. There the target splash weapon that fails to see. all creatures within five feet of the target, including the tar including the target, yeah. take the list of splash yeah. damage. So next. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> it still has damage resistance. Oh no. Oh man. Vigan's like, oh sorry, shit, fuck <laughs> in five ten. That gets to there. Alright. Ghost's turn. Um I think the ghost is gonna gonna focus on maybe a, a less uh armored target and he's gonna go for I don't know, the person attacking him with a bed. How about that? <laughs> what um, what do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, that's a 28. Oh is my that, god, yeah. that a crit. The, that yep. hits. Is that a crit? Uh, your AC is 19. Yeah. Oh, just barely not. So you're good. I'm gonna oh, really? use my reaction against that. Okay, so you will only take, um, what is the reduction? I think it's up to 4 now. Yep, 2 plus your level. Okay, so you will take total eight negative damage, Lyra. Um, however, Ardor responds by swinging uh, this Kukri no. and destroying, as he knows, temporarily, the ghost. Yay! Uh, thanks. So that's it. We did it, right? It's dead? We did it. No, no we got rid of it. Forever. Sorry, I splashed you with acid. Like in uh, Dark Souls, when you kill the skeleton, you don't actually get XP because they come back later, five, five seconds later. <laughs> and Arter, you can see very clearly uh, that Lena is holding a a silver holy symbol of Iumide. and Lyra is holding a bedroll. <laughs> Lyra, Lyra is also holding a straw mattress. <laughs> yeah. Why did we're why, helping? Why did you? Why did you do that? You just sounded like a frat boy. Why did you? Do what, that? Wait, I'm just a little puzzled, is all. <laughs> why did you pick up the mattress and try to hit the ghost with it? <laughs> because I have outside the box. I have never not been able to do damage to something like that you know she has never dealt with ghosts before so, yeah, picked up a... i hate this town i was just not i can agree with you there not not having this this town's infested <laughs> with ghosts i think he's gonna hold out his hand to lena um do you want the holy symbol yes i will give it to you <laughs> no finders keepers um, Arter, make, I, I say make, um, you can make a religion check if you would like. I'll make Actually, a religion check, sure, why any, not? Any, anybody who, who wants to, like, think about the situation can make a religion check. To consider the situation. Yeah. Think. What might be going on. I have a pretty good inkling. I don't know the whole story, but I know how to find the whole story. And that's right. the rest of the story. Okay. Yeah, um, Arter and Thugrin both, um, you get the feel, like, it, it, it's pretty clear that this is the source of whatever is causing the ghost to reappear. Um, it's maybe not obvious to you why or what exactly 
you need to do but if you think you like you just yeah you think if you could figure out exactly what's going on you could maybe put two and two together and figure that out so the the the, go the ghosts seem to be you know it, he was talking about it and the only it here that this could possibly that could possibly could possibly be talking about like it's not the backpack it doesn't care about the rope it clearly cares for whatever reason about this holy symbol uh, wait maybe it's the bed <laughs> it's not the bed I figured it out so is it bound to this place or bound to that the symbol. symbol that is if we were to take that with us would it come back to us with us it, 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 the ghost was complaining about something being taken from it maybe we have to return the holy symbol to the body of where the ghost was buried oh. I have an idea of how so we have to find this this ghost's body or something like that I don't know the whole story here but I know who will uh, alright let's go because the last thing I want is another ghost problem on top of the darkness of a consuming plague stone Okay. Lay so yeah, on. let's let's go to the feeding mill. Lay down All right. Path. You head to the feed mill, and go ahead and just drop yourselves um, outside the feed mill. Outside the feed mill. Yeah, because you are outside the feed mill, and you are now going to the feed mill. I don't know why I dropped myself on the front door. <laughs> um. Alrighty. So you, and you may now come inside the feed mill. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we could have done that easy. Done that. <laughs> That's the most complicated way. Oh my god, there's a ghost inside the feed mill. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me hide the ghost. Okay. Uh, and you can see um, Lauren Krent is here and he is already drinking. Um, he has two empty uh, mugs in front of him. Um, and... Uh, Finnick is just bringing another mug to him. Finnick says, Here you go, Mr. Sir Lauren. Another ale. Plunk in front of him. You do remember that Ioma Day expects us to practice temperance, don't you? He just sort of looks up looks at you you can see his eyes are bloodshot um probably more from lack of rest than anything he doesn't look like he has slept very well and he says Hayomade is well i'd say she's dead but she's not fat lot of good she's done me recently though and he just takes a swig but you would know that, wouldn't you, Talmor? You were there too. I am not Talmor. I'm going to show him the uh, the silver symbol. Okay. He um, kind of squints at it, looks at it, and says, "That's you." That's. You. Did he, did he freeze? Oh, what a moment to freeze! Sheesh. Come on. Stupid internet. Is it our internet? Yeah. Internet decides to just stop. Well, 
just get words here and there and, and eventually it dries up a little bit and he says you i left when when everything exploded i left i left you your side we were supposed to protect each other we'd been we enlisted at the same time and and i and i left you and then when i can i hid through the fire and then i came back And there you were, just cut to pieces. And so I took your holy symbol, and he will... He, again, just sort of reaches, and he can't bring himself to touch it. Um, and he says, and I, I brought it here, and I thought maybe I could find a new life here, and this would remind me of you, but... And then he just, he seems to like, it's like a, a veil is lifting from his face. And he says, you're, no, you're Dougal? Dougal. Utter nods. You have to bury it. You have to bury it. He didn't. It should have been buried with him, but here's as good as as anywhere, I suppose. Did he have any places that he would have liked? Do you think? You know, he always he always wanted to retire to a farm or to an inn next to a river. That's what he was going to do once he reached seniority and you know, he would he'd be well he would he was probably seven years away. He'd be in his forties. He would <laughs> he'd meet some some beautiful woman at a at a at a an inn somewhere and They'd get married and they have children and they the children would play in a we talked about it a million times and somewhere by a river i think would probably be most fitting i he kind of looks down at his his pot belly and and his you know, he, he's been wearing the raiment of um a knight of last wall or really a knight of ozum uh, the whole time, and it's it's soiled, it's torn. He says, I haven't really upheld my vows very well these last months. Could you... I, I'll, I need to be there, but could you do it? You look like someone who's kept to your vows, at least. Not as well as I would hope. He stands up a little bit unsteadily and says... I think we should do it quickly. If what I saw was a ghost, it could be back any day now. And he's, you know, you can tell he's tipsy. And says, I know there's a river here. Think we could find a good spot? I think we could. So yeah, let's, let's bury this thing. Alrighty, so you can all. Is everybody gonna come with them? With them? Yeah. Yeah. Make sure this is well done. This ghost is in the ground. Uh, so there are plenty of spots along this river. Uh, where do you think would be a, a fitting location? I think next to this copse of trees. Okay. Great. So you can head up there. Um, and there are no, you know, specific words for vanishing a, a ghost. Um, you essentially just need to dig a hole, is what it sounds like, to, to bury it. Um, he would like to say a few words, um, and you and he both know the rights of Iomade. Um, and you can sort of 
you can say part and he can say part. Uh, but he would like for for you to to dig the hole and 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 to sort of take the lead on it. How old is that? Uh, so you you bury the holy symbol, um, and uh, he once it's buried, he reaches down to his hilt and he draws his sword, um, and he says. I think that this sword belongs with someone who keeps our orders tenants better than I have now. And he offers it to you, Arthur. I will take it with pride. Um, and you can look at it and you can see that this sword is engraved uh, with runes. Um, this is a plausible longsword. It's dangerous to go alone, Ardor. Um, and it, uh, it, it does have, you know, also engravings, you know, not, not just the magical rune itself, um, but it was clearly crafted by uh, a knight of last wall. Um, it has the holy symbol of Iomide on the pommel. And on the reverse, it has the symbol of the Knights of Last Wall. And he says, I think I need to start over. Maybe here, or maybe I'll go back to... <laughs> I think they're calling it the Gravelands now. I don't know, but... Thank you for this. If you don't mind waiting around a few moments, I have some things that I would like to say, and I think that you should hear them, too. He will nod. Ryder will go up, stand beside where he buried the holy symbol, and he'll say, I didn't know Talmor personally, but I knew scores of men and women just like him men and women just like you and me men and women who are lucky if they get to have the dreams that we talk about but the reason why we fight why we give up our dreams of our own is so that so many more can live out theirs Talmor died defending a people that he loved. And I would be so lucky to do the same. <laughs> and uh, Lauren Crint just sort of, he nods and he says, well said. And that's where, where we're going to stop for this week. Lyra takes a drink of alcohol that she has drink, just drink, taken drink. out of the Did you thing. take it to go cup? Yep. <laughs> I'm like, it's so disrespectful. I will, I, I will go ahead and um, give a hero point to Arter, uh for for all his work today. And a hero point to Lyra. Because for the mattress stones to attack a ghost. <laughs> with a mattress. With a, with a mattress. <laughs> hey, you know. Well done. Whatever's around. <laughs> so proud. Great. This was fantastic. That was fun. Yeah, that was great. Very good. Very, very it's good. fun to be dramatic. It is. Obviously, Lyra does not take too kindly to the fact that she can't do what she is, like, born to do, but... Guess I'll have to try to put that room on your sword so you can kill ghosts, huh? (laughs) Isn't there a, like, fighter specialization that's, like, improvised fighting or something? It's an archetype that's coming out in the Advanced Player's Guide. Oh. Oh. You could be like a MacGyver fighter. <laughs> Whatever I find. Anything I throw is magical. <laughs> and if there rough. isn't now, there probably will be a monk that can do it. At some point. Grab a, a pen from the table. <laughs> <laughs> or a mattress.
mattress from the floor. <laughs> All right, well, we'll lay this ghost to rest next time on the fall of Plague Stone. Oh, we we laid the ghost to rest on this episode. Of fall <laughs> yes, of we did. And <laughs> next time, we'll... we're gonna go pick some rotting apples. We'll pick some rotting apples next time. <laughs> 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 <laughs>